guys, you're welcome once again to my channel, inspiring others. And in this video, I'll be bringing you updates on the Cogros experiment. So it's been 28 days since the commencement of this experiment. So for 28 days, a lot has happened. And I told you I'm observing two traits. That's the weight gain and the dead rate of mortality. So a lot has happened within the first 28 days and I felt I've gathered some data which is good enough to give you an update on the progress of these two breeds for the first 28 days. So stick on to the end of this video to get everything that has transpired with these two breeds and on these two qualities. Now I'd like to remind you that I started this experiment with 17,000 chicks cops and 17,000 chicks raws so both sample sizes are the same birds are raised under similar environmental conditions they are raised in a controlled environment where they are provided the best environmental conditions for their welfare and growth they are both receiving the same quality of feed and water the only difference here is the breed So the chicks for Cope and Ross, when they first came to the farm, they were at an average weight of 45 grams. So usually when you receive them at that age, within the first week, a couple of things are going to happen. You're going to lose some chicks. So I knew that that wasn't going to be a problem for me, especially with Ross, because I've been working with Ross for a while. So I knew that at least in the worst case scenario when it comes to ross i'm going to lose like 100 chicks for that first week which is the most however what i didn't understand was how this was going to play out with the cope breeds because i was thinking that raising them under similar conditions they were gonna go the same way as the ross chicks will be going but i was in for a surprise you see, the daily weight gain by Co was always ahead of that of Ross from the third day, and I thought they were doing all right, but something started happening. Their death rate increased a lot, and this was principally because most chicks were suffering from leg disorder, and when they suffered this, they will have to starve because they can move the die of thirst and hunger. So the dead rate with cooks only normalized after they were three weeks. When they got to three weeks, then the dead rate dropped to below 20 a day. That was when I was a little bit relieved. Seriously, they gave me a hard time. I was like, maybe I'm gonna lose everything at this rate. So for the first week, the weight gain of Ross, that's the first seven days, it was at 190 grams, which is very good. Uh, they had managed to put up to four times their body weight. That was good for Ross. For Cope, it was excellent. Aside the dead rate, it was excellent. They, had, they made it to 223. By the second week, Ross was at 473, good as usual and Coop was at 545 which is even better by the third week Ross was at 920 whereas Coop had gone to 1 kilo 110 grams so it was a big difference there I started seeing the difference really that much at four weeks this was Ross that you see now so they were at 1.540 grams so they were 1 kilo 540 grams while Coop was at 1 kilo 620 grams so that was it for their first four weeks in the farm however the dead rates were really really different you see the weights varied by I think about 120 grams cope leading however with the dead rate the results were totally opposite and the gap was very wild I lose 230 Ross in the first four weeks 
and I lost 750 cops within the same period. So this got me thinking, like I had to literally do the calculations to see if it's actually better to stay with Ross or to do coop in the future. Seriously, after all those calculations, I'm still thinking like I don't know if I'm gonna go with Coop again, give it one more trial, or I should just stick with my Ross. However, the awaits at 40 days will give me a better view of both breeds. So remember to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the final values for the weights and the dead rate at 40 days.